Hi everybody, Smithy here again. Today's challenge is all about the chopper grip and how we can do a couple of different exercises to get everyone more comfortable with it, get used to it, so that when we get back on the tennis court in the hopefully not too distant future, uh, you're all feeling good about it and got your confidence back. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that everyone has got the chopper grip correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a screenshot just now and show you what we are looking for. Now your index knuckle should be over the second spell of the tennis racket grip. Okay? And the key thing when you're doing this exercise is that you do not change your position of your hand on the grip at all. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to change between hitting the side of the frame and the strings of the racket. So you're actually going to have to turn your wrist to meet the ball. We call that pronating your wrist and it's very similar to the movement that you do at the top of your serve when you move your wrist round to meet the ball. Okay? So it just looks a little bit like this. So one off the side of the frame and then the strings. But it's very important that when you do this, as I said earlier, you do not move your hand on the grip of the racket. After a while of doing this, if, especially if you're not used to it, you might find your hand getting a little bit sore. That's pretty normal, especially if you've not been used to you know, using this type of movement over the last two months that we've been inside. But I would like everyone to video it, give it your best effort, um, and then post it up in the wall, have a look at it, and we'll pick a winner. Okay? Apart from that, can't wait to see everyone back at Gifted Tennis Club, and I hope you're all doing well. Cheers.